one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a really nice 2000 GMC Yukon. And I did the exterior review, and you can see the little faded spots and such. And now I'm back to do the test drive. And I'm gonna go ahead and do it to it with this, but I like to walk around and show you what you were looking at first in case you haven't seen the other video, you know what we're test driving. Just show up in the seat and start off all of a sudden or something. So, with that in mind, oneownercarguy.com. Make sure to subscribe. Subscribe, hope I said that right. My mouth's getting dry. Like, comment, all that good stuff. Boop, I popped a link up here somewhere to where you can um, add me on Google Plus, G Plus. That seems to be the way we have to comment now on here. And it's actually pretty neat once you get into it and start doing it. But what a pain it's been to get switching over and stuff. And that's the deal. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Cereal Marshmallows. www.CerealMarshmallows.com for the your morning breakfast cereal dehydrated marshmallows. I love them. I sell them like crazy. Let's check out the inside here uh, for the test drive. Broken handle I didn't show you in the other one too. One forty-five, one ninety-one. Sometimes you gotta close that door a little harder. When you start it, that fuel gauge will flip. I'll do it again just to show you. Didn't do it that time, of course. Idles down nicely. It's a great runner. Now as far as the runnability of this truck, I had the transmission replaced. Um, it needed a transmission. Um, it wouldn't work, let's just put it that way. So I had it redone. Um, the guy put a guaranteed transmission in it. Guaranteed for a few months. Um, we're running out of the road and it does it to it. And I'm not gonna say it shifts like a brand new truck. It shifts good. Um, downshift's all there. And such. Upshift is all there. More than what you can get on, really. Um, they're very powerful rigs. Um, got a little bit of a belt squeal, I think you can hear there. And I think my guy said it was maybe the bearing in the alternator. show you something here that I really don't think is an issue and I've had them do it like this before. Listen to this. Let's turn this down. Hang on. It seems to go just fine. I'll let you hear a little bit more up here at the light and such. Like I say, anytime I replace uh, transmission in these things, you go from, I, I had one of these that was a year old. Um, and I've had many Escalades that were between a year and three years old. 20,000 mile trucks, you know, I mean, psh, everything in them is so tight is pitiful. This ain't like that, it ain't $40,000 tight. It's just nicely. Like right there, it seemed to like, it, sh it shifted differently than it would do. I guess that's the only way there is to say something. But it shifted and it did it fine. It's all there, the power's there and I like it. Um, one thing you could do on them uh, is um, come look and inspect and we'll go for a ride or send an inspector. I have people look on Craigslist all the time and send people. Nice to me. Um, very, very nice um, shipping. Now, why am I making such a big deal out of this? Because I had it replaced. I actually paid, wipers work, money to have it replaced. And in doing so, I got a guarantee with it, but that guarantee ain't gonna work if you're in Rhode Island or something. It's like, oh man, um, this or this. 
well, tough, unless you ship it back. I mean, it's just not cost effective to be able to do anything. I just realized that this has heated seats. It sure does. And they're hot. So that's my point there. That bearing in a hole or something that you might replace over um, just getting sick of hearing it. But honestly, with the radio on, I don't think you'd really notice it much. I can't do my radios in the test drives and stuff. Actually, I don't ever really listen to the radio. I'm always on the phone or trying to be on a computer while I'm driving. Be on a computer while you're driving? Yeah. Google Talk thing makes stuff kind of easy. So, nice truck, nice inside. Two owner, well maintained. Um, you know, being a nice, well taken care of rig does not mean that you're never going to do anything to it and that it's a done deal and you never have to fix anything. No, it's not what that means. It's not how that goes. Uh, I'm sure you'll fix something over time. Maybe even the next day when you get it or the first month. Um, power steering pump, starter, fuel pump. Who knows? Uh, maybe the thing run for three years and never replace nothing. It's just how cars go. Um, right at the top of our power band there, and I'll tell you what, it's got the power in the band. See right there, it kind of went up too much. Yeah, baby. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here and say goodbye and such. Um, we can hear that whine a little bit more. AC blows cool, but it is not ice cold. Compressor spins free, so if anything, it probably needs a charge. Actually, it's really cool. That's cool, man. Yes, it is. It actually is. And like I say, sometimes that door does not like to shut all the way, and I'll turn around and show you that kind of stuff. Needs a little bit of adjustment, maybe. Um, that's the deal. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com, 2000 Yukon. And good GM thing. I always get it mixed up with a Tahoe. Um, basically, it's an Escalade without the extra 20 grand tacked on. How's that? Well, Interior and such is coming up next. I'm trying to think if I showed you everything on this test drive that I needed to, and I think I did. So with that, goodbye. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. And call me anytime, Nathan, 406-544-6919. This Yukon's for sale. And if you're looking for one, stop it and call me. We'll talk to you.